stand on and live all by yourself. Holy Spirit, we welcome you, Lord, in our midst. Come and do what only you can do. Come and change our lives, O oh God. Come and move in our lives, O oh God. Come and speak into our lives, O oh God. Lift your voice one more time. Lift your voice one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence in this place. We desire to experience you this day. We desire to encounter you this day. Come and move in our midst, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. the Lord. Are we glad to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. Are we glad to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. Come on, just tell your neighbor, victory is my name. Victory is my name. Now we want to declare that in a song. Amen. Are we ready? Are we ready? Amen.
the left, on the right, up my head and behind, on the left, on the right, set, set, the left and right, set, on my day, on my day, the left and right, set, on my day, on my day, turn the head, up my head.
only one thing that allows us to say that we can't go back and that is the cross of Jesus and this morning I just want us to thank God for the sacrifice at the cross just go before him and tell him thank you Jesus for dying on the cross for me it is because of that blood that I can say I won't go back to the chains that were holding me before come on church just go before the presence of God the Bible says that I, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. So when you don't know what you should pray, just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is how you enter the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice at the cross. Thank you, God, for taking my place, oh God. And it is because of your blood, oh Jesus, that I'm able to stand. It is because of the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than that of Abel, that now we are free in the name of Jesus. Come on, church, don't be silent. Don't be silent. May not to pray and not faint. May not to pray and not faint. We ought to give thanks for this precious gift of salvation. And Father, we thank you, O oh God. We lift your name up high, O oh Jesus. It's not because of us, O oh God, but it's because of who you are, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God, for changing us. Thank you, Jesus, for taking our place. Cast the zero on the tree. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. morning, oh God, we remember the sacrifice of the cross. And Lord, we offer ourselves as living sacrifice, oh God, that God, you may transform us. May we not be Christians by label, oh God. May we not have a form of godliness and denying its power, my God. But Jesus, I pray that our thoughts and our hearts will be transformed by you in Jesus' name, oh God. When you look for our people that are faithful, Jesus, may you find us to be faithful, oh God. Let there be a transformative power in us, Jesus, that we don't have to utter a word and say that we are Christians, oh God, but by the very way we live our lives, oh God, may people know Jesus in us, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. And let's remember our country and just say a word or two for our nation. Father, we thank you for our country. We thank you for our leaders because leadership comes from you, Jesus. And we pray that, God, you may have mercy on our country, O oh God. Remember mercy on us, O oh God. We have, we have exalted other gods above you, my God. Remember mercy, Jesus. And we pray and we declare that Kenya belongs to Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's only one altar in our nation. And that is the altar of Jesus. Father, may you remember mercy. Remember mercy on your children, O oh God. Be the God in our lives, O oh Jesus. We surrender unto you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Hallelujah. Amazing. Give it up for yourself. Give it up for Jesus. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, give it up for the echoes of grace. What began in my coffee what you have their seat? What began in my coffee? Now give it up for the band team. Amazing. How many of us are here to be happy? Okay. How many of us are happy by the praise and worship team? Ah, nice. Today is TMG service. So TMG service. Okay, before to end Elena TMG service, my name is Felix Ogalo. And my name is Latasha Brianna. <laughs> and uh, today we want to do his salamu. So look for one neighbor. When you make a kando yake. Tafta jirani, tafta jirani. Mwambie, welcome to TMG service. Welcome to TMG service. As you have your blessed seat. Tunafanya nini? Unamwambia aje? Rada. We can do it again? In two, three, one, tuende kazi? Rada. Amazing. So you may have your blessed seats. Wow. You look lovely from up here. Yes. So we were asking a question, Brianna. Yes. What is TMG? Uh, tafuta ule jirani, umulize, what is TMG? What does TMG mean? Yes. The meaning of TMG. Hey, hey, sauti mepungua. Vile mlisema rada ilikuwa na uzito. Okay. What is TMG? Thank you. TMG stands for? Transforming my generation. Transforming my generation. Yes. And today we are here to transform also your generation. Yeko sawa. Kani sawa sema sawa? Sawa. Can you saw a sema sawa? Sawa. And we have a video. So, yes. TMG is the mm. teens service. I mean teens church. And we normally have our services every Sunday from yeah. 11.30 a.m. 
at the tent. So karibuni sana. Everyone is welcome. Sindio? Tunakuanga hapa kwa tent. So umta hema. Hapa hapa pa nyuma. Mjapata. Mjapata ni sawa. So each and every Sunday from 11.30 a.m. Yes. So just come pale pale kwa tent. And it will be one of the amazing, amazing service you can ever be in. Yes, and we have a video for you. So if yes. you want to know more about TMG, yes. check this out. Media team. Wow. My name is Joy Nzola. Romana Sankaile. Mashipaiti is a blessing. This Wangare. Well, I currently work as I serve the Lord passionately. I go to Moja 3 Youth, Youth 3 Campus. What I love about TMG is that it nurtures young adults. It, it makes them grow spiritually and also socially. Well, it has an impact on our lives and it helps us get together with other people. TMG is a very safe space for young people coming together to build capacity both spiritually, emotionally and socially. We usually have our Bible study every Saturday happening from 4 p.m. all the way to 7 p.m. It's just an environment where we as young people get to know fellowship together, stand, each other, stand with each other together and also just share the word of God as teenagers. Then secondly, we have our Sunday service, which happens every Sunday from 12 p.m. all the way to 1.30 p.m. So if you are a young person in Moja 3 looking for a community to join, TMG Moja 3 is the best place to be at. My name is Abigail Barasa. Spiritual idea. Ashley Joy. Sharabina. I'm currently in high school. In high school. I go to K Road Campus. K Road Campus. K Road Campus. I like what I like about TMG is how people come together and get different ideas from each other. I like about the togetherness and the different ideas we learn from each other. I like to interact with my friends. Emotional social interactions and spiritual development. Our services start at eleven thirty to around two. We have Washamta for evangelism where we we take our time to evangelize and help people grow spiritually we have bible study which is called greenhouse bible study that starts from 6 pm to around 8 my name is Eli Garod from letter me nine Glenn Marcus Rodney Murilla David and Juguna I go to KCC campus. KCC. KCC. Mm, TMG help people to learn and grow together. TMG prepares us for future life and teaches us life skills. I love TMG in how we fellowship in prayer and reading the word. At KCC campus we usually have our youth fellowships on Fridays evening from 6.30 p.m. to about 7.30 p.m. And then on Sundays we usually hold our teens class from 12 p.m during the day and we also have our small groups on the youth service for our young adults and also for the teens. My name is Collins Musioka, Caleb Okoyo, Tim Arnold, Larissa Mwangi. It's a place where I have personally seen a lot of growth in my relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, the way the services are interactive uh, and so are the sessions. Um, I like how we have fun activities and how we praise, worship and exalt God in a modern way. We nika join TMG, uh, nika get kukua baptized, nika part a small group where whereby tuna kuanga na accountability partners, tuna grow. And also uh, nika part a space ya kusav, I, I serve in the TMG missions and I also serve in the TMG men's ministry. We usually have TMG services every Sunday from 11.30 a.m. We have Bible studies on Wednesday from 6 p.m. And uh, on Saturdays, we usually have a program called Wash and Prayer, so where we come, arrange the church uh, in preparation for our Sunday service on, on, on Sunday. Uh, my name is Ronald Mutua. Baraka Kimani. Karin Jane. Currently, I'm in the Dulos 2024 program. I'm in Dulos 2024 waiting to join university. Uh, Dulos has helped me grow spiritually, make new friends, and grow my talent. Um, Dulos has helped me to make new friends, and also 
It has helped me to grow my talent. It is a safe space where someone can worship God without being judged. Hi, my name is Nadia. I'm a campus student and my campus is TMG Mombasa Road. The church has not yet been established, but so far for a year now, uh, we've been having monthly meetings where we gather and we share the word of God and we have fun, we play games, we have wonderful people and we have a wonderful leader, Edith Chebet. Yes, and it has been a wonderful experience. We have grown and we have formed good relationships as we await for the church. And give it up for TMG. I know you're sitting there wondering, hi, Kwani, today where are we? Ni hapa. Yes. So turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, Rada. Hey, welcome to the TMG Sunday. Today is TMG Sunday. So you're not in the wrong church. This is the right church, but we are doing it a little bit different, all right? So my name is Steve Kamau. Okay, so my name is Steve Gamal, and we, Abado, my name is Steve Gamal. My name is Janice. Awesome. Thank Give you. it up for Janice, ladies and gentlemen. And um, Janice, what do we do in TMG? In TMG, I think some of the things have been highlighted in the video. Yes. So we're going to talk about TMG in a co Yes. This campus in Yetuko Saizi. So what we do is we have our services from 11.30 every Sunday. Currently, it runs with the third service. So, yeah, if you're there, a young person, now Jai Kuja TMG, Tafadali Kuja, next Sunday from 11.30. Then we have our Bible study. Yes. Every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. all the way to like 8 p.m. Yes. So, on Wednesday, come here, we read the word together, and we just have a fellowship time. Then, the last Thursday of oh, every wow. month, we have our upper room. Yes. From 5.30 p.m. all the way to 8, where we have a time of just praising and worshiping God together. Yeah. And, yeah. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, you're wondering, who is a young adult? Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I am young at heart. <laughs> you know, there are people who are young, but uh, Miyaka... Uh, but TMG is ages from 21 to 28. And you're wondering, how can I plug in? I'm a young person. You can main church and can be a turn to my neighbor. Eh, hi. And you want us to be free? We have a service that happens each and every Sunday. Concurrently with the, uh, the third service that happens behind at the tent from 11.30 to 1.30. Uh, and also teenagers are there. But this is what you will do, all right? In the month of June, God willing, we will be having a TMG Young Adults Expression. The ones that I'm talking about from 21 to 28. Young professionals, people who are thinking of buying land, people who are thinking of getting married, people who are thinking just, I want to grow spiritually. We will have a young adult's expression that will start in June. So if you have not registered, I'm going to church, I'm going to go 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 to church, you know? So how can one register to, to the TMG Young Adults? So come away when young adults. You can text our number. We have a TMG line. So it's 07. I hope you're right. We're writing. Young adults in the house. Hi! Young adults in the house. So you can just remove our phones. Sorry. You can just remove our phones and then we take our phone number. You just text us. You say, hi, and your name. Then you're going to just put you in our community and we'll be communicating with you. So the number is 07. Nine seven, medium konayo. Okay, zero seven nine seven, one sixty eight, one thirty four. Zero seven nine seven, one sixty eight, one thirty four. Just text us and we will get in touch with you. Yeah. Oh, parents, you're seated. You have a young adult in the house. That is the line to give them. Wambi e uta baki pekea. Wakita kakujo ataona na ne wambi wakamo ne stivo. Stivo atawa atawa show form. Sasa. So ladies and gentlemen, without wasting time, we do a lot in TMG. And so today we have something amazing that we have prepared for you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, brethren, prepare your hearts and prepare your hands for the dance ministry and the poet, Small and Nadia. Give it up for that amazing team. Something for talking, and them not understand it. Gospel is not another competition. Unity, atomic weapon. Boom, 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 and the nomination. Gospel is not another competition. Que, 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 with your separation. Que, with your drama and condemnation. We are stronger, stronger together as one. Gospel is not another competition. Them put a fresh coat of paint pants in there. And a copy, copy, copy like inkjet Anything them do, smarty bin there And if you ask me, look the bin there Things me witness hurt my heart Feel like some in a war be apart But me not left my post none at all Watch I make the soldiers march Shukran. Lord, should I? Should I call you that? Because I wonder when you said in your word that seek me and you shall find me, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Which doors are you talking about? Or do you have so many doors to open that you've lost count of them? I wonder. When you say that you have great plans for me, not to destroy me, but to make me prosperous. End of quote. Tell me about those plans. Or is it to be like Kung Fu Panda, to meander and maneuver every obstacle that comes my way? I need a plumber to redirect these tears of which I'm not sure they are not of joy, but of sorrow. Allow me to go back to the events of the moment. Before, 
the existence of this long metallic snake that could cut across our borders, which was to connect, but it made the cracks even broader. Before the existence of this metallic house-like structure, which had these bright like eyes that shone like sun at the night. Before the existence of this long hollow metallic pipe that could produce this thunder-like sound that could kill in seconds, they were the missionaries. They brought us the Bible and we had our lands. They taught us to pray while closing our eyes, but the moment we opened them, we had the Bibles and they had our lands. Where were you when the Garissa and infamous Westgate attack happened? Or were you still in your journey off? Exodus 14, 14, be still and know that I am God. How can I be still and know that you are God? What? Everyone was trembling like grains of wheat in the winter storm. The loud banks were heard. The cloud of smoke rose. Where were you? Son, I have heard your cry, O oh, you of little faith. You need change that gets to the root, and the root does not need much guessing because it is your unbelief that needs addressing. Who told you? Who told you that by your strength you can overcome the heaviness of life? Don't you think life would be less heavy if you just believed? I wonder. Who told you that you cannot make it, that you will never make it, that you are born with nothing, good for nothing, living for nothing? Who told you I cannot part your Red Sea, that I cannot bring the walls of Jericho down? I wonder, who told you? I am the cloud by day and fire by night. I am the beginning and the end. I am who I say I am. And my word is yes and amen. Faith keeps you grounded when you are surrounded. Faith helps you see that beyond the Red Sea is milk and honey. Faith says I have already made a way. And faith says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So as you face your Red Sea, step into faith, for you are not fighting for victory, but from a place of victory. Do not make friends with the fear you feel. Exchange it for faith. Though, though it's unseen, unseen it's it surrounds. Though, though unheld, unheld, it abounds. So simple and profound, allowing, allowing thoughts to break ground, ideas to make sound. I'm talking, talking about the faith that comes by hearing and hearing the word. Shukran. Hey guys. Welcome to TMG Service. My name is Coco. I'm Peace Nyambura. My name is Ian Miner, and these are the weekly announcements. Do you want your child to be the best among the best? The King School Nairobi offers an exceptional educational environment whose foundation are Christ-centered. Welcome to an admission interview on Tuesday 23rd of April from 8 a.m. Please note that the interview fee per child is 500 shillings only. Transformers, let us all gather this coming Friday 26th of April at 10 p.m. for a monthly prayer vigil at the Inner Core Campus. Come and press into touch the heart of the Father by the Holy Spirit of God. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy and the power that transforms us into mountain takers. To mark the 40th anniversary as DCIU, the small groups and the mission team have organized a community cleanup targeting Moy Drive, Inumoza, on the 27th April from 12 noon. All who would like to participate will converge at 8 a.m. at the Inaco campus. If you will not be able to join us, please bring any tools like disposable gloves, masks, spades, rakes, wheelbarrows, etc. to the church reception any day of the week. All married ladies are invited for a meeting Sunday 28th of April from 2.30 to 5.00 p.m. at the Inner Commune campus. This meeting will be hosted by the Priscillas. Our guest speaker will be expounding on navigating the mountains in our marriages, followed by a Q&A session. Please plan to attend. Tabitha Munyoki will wed Pastor Jackson Mwingi here at Deliverance Church in Ako Campus on the 4th of May from 11 a.m. And thereafter, their reception will be at Deliverance Church Kangdo Road Campus. The men's and mission teams have partnered with Kenya Blood Transfusion Service to conduct a blood donation drive on Sunday, 5th May 2024. All adults of good health are encouraged to donate blood and save a life. Also, 
All men are invited to have breakfast together on 11th May 2024 from 8 a.m. at the Inaco campus. In addition to sharing a meal, men of the house will gather to discuss your health and the power of unity. Charges are just 250 shillings per person to be paid through pay bill number 991648 and the account is breakfast. Here's an opportunity to grow as a leader and to learn to share the gospel more effectively. The King's Bible College Bay Intake is now open. Visit the office to learn more about our diploma programs in Bible and Theology, Christian Ministries, Counseling Psychology, Marriage and Family Therapy, and ICT. A certificate in Christian Ministry that takes 10 months is also on offer. 40 years at DCIU, Bishop JB and Mama Joy have pastored a generation. As we mark this anniversary, the cry of our hearts is for God to give us this mountain. Our mandate is sure as an apostolic people, there is more territory to conquer. So join us for DOR 2024 from the 20th to the 24th of May at the Inaco campus and our anniversary celebration service on the 26th of May at Kanguno Road campus grounds. You will receive a word to be a mountain taker. That's it from the media desk, but before we go, Ian, what do you look forward to at the TMG? In the TMG K Road, I look forward to Washamta campaign, which is an outreach program in our community. Last Sunday, we were able to host a street festival with our guest artists being Timeless Noel and Lady B. And we received a word from Pastor Sam Might. And by the grace of God, 59 people gave their lives to Christ. And we give God all the glory, as well as the Greenhouse Session, which is our Bible study, our weekly one. And finally, the Plus One Experience, which is a series that teaches the youth on Christ-like relationships that lead to authentic marriages. That's nice. How about you, Coco? Me here at TMG Inako, I look forward to our mini worship experience which we call Upper Room that happens every last Thursday of the month. In fact, this coming Thursday, we have Upper Room here from 6 to 8.30 and it's an amazing time of worship, prayer. We also get to share a cup of coffee afterwards and fellowship together. Apart from that, we also have wash and pray. We have Bible study Wednesday. TMG is great. So in fact, y'all can, if you have never attended Upper Room, Please join us this Thursday for an amazing time. And that's it for me. Thank you, Coco. For me, I look forward to the concert and the camp, which is coming later this year. Watch out for the dates. And that's it from us. Thank you for joining us on this TMG Sunday. And I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Have a blessed service. Bye. Bye. Give it up for the media team. Yeah, let's give it up for Ian, um, Peace, and Coco. Yeah. Yes, Amazing I hope you've taken note of the dates that are as important yes. and as required. Yes, and right now we want to do our baby dedication. Huh? So I would like the parents of uh, Easter Latino to please uh, bring your child for dedication. So, oh, the, the name of the child is Easter Latino. Thank you so much. All right. Let's raise our hands towards the child here. You can lay, put your hands on. I want us to pray for Easter. Father, we want to thank you for Easter Latino. We declare blessings upon her. Mighty Redeemer, we want to pray that this child will grow well. And we pray for provision. While going to school, after school, we also pray that God, there will be enough and more than enough provision. We pray for your guidance at a young age and even after becoming an adult, that this child will choose you as her personal savior. We declare blessings, Lord of all glory, because you are able to do great things for this child. And we also pray that wherever this child will be in this world, she will always look for a place to worship. Our declaration for the parent as well, 
that God will bless and provide everything that they need as a family. We pray for grace, we pray for blessings, we pray for provision. We also pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon this family. So we receive Easter uh, Latino in the house in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I hear amen? God bless. Amen. Give it up for Easter. So before we forget, there are people who are watching us online. Yeah. We want to welcome you to our service today. This is our TMG service. Yeah, this is our TMG service. Mm -hmm. And it's a special service, all right? So can I be honest? Yeah. How many of you remember your mathematics teacher? How many of you remember your mathematics teacher? <laughs> How many are still in touch with them? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so amazing. It's it's lovely to hear how Mwali Muamat is trending. Yeah, and and today, as a young church, we usually love trivia. Say many trivia. Say many trivia. Yeah, trivia means I'm going to ask you a question and then I will want a response from you guys. In there. Yeah, so for the second service, I have a special question for you. How many yes. people have been, we are celebrating 40 years, right? Yes. Yeah, we have people who have been, many, uh, been coming to church for the last 30 years and above. In there. 20 years, 10 years and above. So we know that our, our, our mission, no, our yeah. vision is a center. For transformation. transformation. Can I ask you a question? How many of you are confident to know our mission and vision? I elders on any, on any. Uh, how many of you are confident? Uh, elders on Angalia. Hey, Nacel group leaders. Again. Mm -hmm. hey, turn to your neighbor. You know, this is the time you're looking. You're like, oh my yeah. goodness. Ask your neighbor, do you know your, you know our, our vision, vision and mission? mission? as a center of transformation. Okay, let me see this side. Yeah, that's our question for today. How I many of you know our mission and our vision and on sitting on this side? Volunteers. Volunteers, anyone. Maybe you don't know it by word, but you can paraphrase it. Hey, hey elders, whoa. Hey, now to not celebrate 40 years. Hey, and oh, he. <laughs> Hey, now to hey, DOR. Steve. Anyone? Anyone? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Kwani second service imejaa watu wa Arsenal na Chelsea. Mnakaa mmeboeka. What is wrong? What is wrong, guys? Guys. Any volunteers? By any way? volunteers? To tell us our mission. It's not a hard question. Yeah. Just tell us our mission and vision. Oh, and uh, just paraphrase it. Any? And then we have awards. Don't worry. If you don't get it right, I got you. I'll yeah. still award you. Yes. Yeah, I'll still award you. Oh yeah, there's one there. There's oh, one awesome! There. Where, where, where? Thank you. Just in the. Oh, great stuff! There's one here. We want six volunteers. Yes. We want six volunteers. Do we have an extra mic? Yeah. We want six volunteers. Yes, kindly. Hey, mom. Do Do you have the camera on? Her? Mom, you can stand. You're looking so amazing. I, I'm sorry. I, I I like doing this a lot. It's yeah. Give it up for mom. Akitomia, our mission and vision. You're looking pang. That's what we say in the TMG church. She's looking pang. Yeah, thank you. The year of crushing the mountains. The year of crushing the mountains. Yes. That is our, I that's our mission this year. Aye, you mean a cheat exam. Yeah, so that's one. All right. There's yeah, that's someone one. else behind Where? there. There's someone else who had raised her hand up on Yuma. Oh, here. Oh, yeah. okay. There's one and two. Actually, yeah. let, me, let me tell you. The Dr. confidence in just answering a question is one of the most interesting things. Yeah. The ear of threshing mountains. The ear of threshing uh, mountains. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, here she is. Hello, church. Hello. Yeah, it's the year of threshing mountains. The year of threshing mountains. Hey, elders. Year of I think this is cell group leaders after service <laughs> to turn on up a belly to two again. Yeah, that, so the year of threshing mountains, that is our word for this year, Steve. That's our theme for this year, but that is our theme for, for this, this year. year. What we are looking for They is, have answered a correct question. Yes. Right? A, yeah. a cor they have given a correct answer. Well, not for the right question. Yes. But don't worry, we got gifts for you, all right? Yes. Um, I want us to go through this side. This side. I want to wanaka wadomi, wasomi. You know, I think I'm going to the learned few. What do you sit on me? Yeah. I want to wanashida. So what's our mission? Anyone? 
So the question is again, oh. what is our mission for DCIU as a church? Yes. Here we are. Uyu Tik. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. This is the year of changing the world for Christ. Give it up for okay. mom. Give it up for mom. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. All right. Aseka, Good Pastor morning, Cheres. church. Thank you. Yeah. Our vision is transforming lives. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Media team, to tell you vision and mission. Hey. Iko? Yeah? Iko? Yeah. Na, na na any last person who would want to try? Yeah. Yes. Up, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 there. Okay. Pale. Okay. Okay. This is our last two answers. So this is, I want our mission. But usiyeke kwanza. Ah, usiyeke kwanza. Umearibu. Usha weka mo Kenya. Uliko, wacha ni ulize. Uliko useme hii. Mission. Uliko useme hiyo. No. Oh, uliko useme hiyo ingine. Yeah. Okay. Iyo ni vision. Yeah. Oh, saa tunataka mission. Okay. Yeah, tuambie mission. The DCIU mission is to transform uh, by providing mercy ministries and relief and care. Ile yeah. siku bishop alikuwa nafundisha hiyo. Kulikuwa wapi yenye wengine? Eh? Tulikuwa wapi sisi wengine? So, so give it up for each and every one of them who has answered, yeah? yeah? Thank you so much. As DCIU we love, we belong and we we care, yeah. right? So if, if uh, unfortunately, I can't remember all those faces, but if you have answered the question, can we stand up? We have a gift for you, yeah. right? If you've answered uh, the question, I got you, mama mama got you. we have airtime for you for this week, just for you to be able just to call your loved ones and remind them we love, we care, yeah. and you need to belong, and we and invite them for you are where are they where are they if you are the, if you have answered the question where are you where are you yeah. oh give it up for these amazing people thank you so, so much so those are four five and then there was six all right so mom will get a t-shirt all right give it up for her she gets a dor t-shirt 2024 yeah by the way we have dor t-shirts they are already out they're looking really nice yeah so if you want a t-shirt after the service you can ask your cell group leader, yeah, DOR t shirts is in a talk. Yes, yeah? and then uh, the others we will give you airtime. Just remind people of DOR, remind people of our celebration, and invite them to belong and care, all right? Yeah, give it up for these amazing people. And together, let's let's read our mission. Sasa, one, two, three, go. This CIU is a, a holistic ministry. ministry that exists exist. to proclaim the word of God, and serve, serve the, the community, community through evangelism, discipleship, discipleship leadership, leadership development, development mentorship, mentorship, social, social economic, economic, cultural culture. programs, and capacity building in Kenya and beyond. Yeah, so the next time someone will ask you that, they might be giving you a car. So, you never memorize know. it. Yeah, you never, you know. never know, yeah. It's a dynamic chart. So right about now, Steve, yeah? Yeah. This as, is, as part of our, our mission this year, as yes. we are turning 40, we decided to go and reach out to the community as a church. Yes. And what did we decide come out? So as a church, we decided to reach out to the community, just as our mission has stated, and go and impact and go and evangelize. And guess what? We decided to go to a school, right? And that school is in Mojawan primary and we came together and rallied together and gave finances f so that we can be able to make their environment conducive for learning and ladies and gentlemen give it up for yourself give it up for yourself yeah so give it up for those for who are not in the loop this year we decided to go impact our, uh, our society we decided to lend up on one primary they had started fishing in classes. I know, it was not offered before, but they started fishing in the classes because of the portals in the classes. You will see the portals up. This is, this is all the, the work we've been doing in um, Mojawan Primary. Um, this is us doing the work, just excavating, making sure. You'll see the portals in a minute. And, and Tony. Yeah. As we even watched the video, we made a total contribution of 610,542 shillings. That's half a million. Thank you for giving. Give it up one more time for yourselves. Yeah. And guess what? We had targeted 10 classes in Umoja 1. 
Yeah. And so far we have done seven completed. Steve. Yes. Before. Give look, it up for, for such amazing. <laughs> yeah, work. look at the before. The before th these portals are worse than the ones in in it Jogo Road. Yeah, Jogo Road Gary Ningia ko portal unasema. And imagine that's yeah. the before and that's the after. All right? And and so far we, we are remaining with three classes. And then guess what? Because of your cheerful giving, we went to Kifaru. Give it up for yourselves, Bana. Yeah. We went to Kifaru. And so we, we have done a total of 15 classes, five in Kifaru and 10 in Umojawan Primary. Yeah, and our goal when we were starting this, it was just to do 10 classes in Umojawan Primary. Then everyone gave. Everyone gave so cheerfully. They gave, they gave. We did extra five classes in Kifaru. And, and that's amazing. And we, with that, I want to thank also the alumni who I'm giving a special shout out, the class of 1994, who went to, who went to Mojawan. I'm also wanna, I wanna thank the administration facilitating the acquisition of materials from shops or to site. Yeah. And I also wanna thank the fundies who are doing a good job. I wanna thank the project managers. I wanna thank, guess what guys? When, when we are doing the work of God, people will come and rally with you. Yeah. People who believe in the same vision. And that, you, you know what? KPLC also joined in in painting the school. Isn't God faithful? Yeah. And so remember, as yes, as, as today is TMG Sunday, we are transforming our generation. And maybe your child does not go to Mojawan. But let me tell you, as a church, you have been called to go out yeah. and evangelize. And maybe you think evangelizing for me is just, yo, buona sifiwe with a big Bible. It's more than that. Yeah. It's touching lives and changing lives. It's being the salt and the light. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for God. Let's give it up for God. Yeah, and it's amazing. Thank you so much, Steve, for summarizing that well. So if you have a young adult, young adult is 22 to 28. They're always saying, oh, I want to sit with you in church. We have a community where they can belong, where they can come and sing, po do poetry. They can come and sing and just do a lot of these things. Amen? Amen. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Let's be on our feet as we say our confession, confession for today. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, thank you for sitting next to me. You're looking pang. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. As we bring up our confession. confession. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. I allow, allow the, word the word of God, of God to, to illuminate, illuminate and enlighten my path to, to the, the principles, principles of, of his kingdom. kingdom. I, I let go of past traditions and failures that I've held until today. I embrace God's principles, new revelation, and a new mindset. So help me, God. I am empowered by the Holy Spirit in every aspect of my life to live victoriously through God's new covenant. I am an adversity to sin, sickness, poverty, and the wiles of the enemy. I am established and I am rooted in his purpose for my life and I am transforming my generation. So help me God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, and we all say, Amen. have your seats. Hey Deliverance Church Umoja, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Brian Asekam and I'm glad to be with this amazing team right here. I know we can't be in all campuses but we can be here and everyone can see us. Guys, I want us to get into the meat of why we are here today. And even as we're doing it, I want us to start by introductions. Let me start with our pastor, Pastor Pam. Yeah, I'm um, Pastor Pamela Dreda Oyola, and uh, by the grace of God, I serve with this amazing team. Yeah, we call ourselves TMG. My name is Joyce Kibi Ambet. I'm in charge of admin and events with relation to TMG. Uh, David Maranga is my name, Umoja 3 Campus. Edith Chebet, upcoming Mombasa Road Campus. And I'm Brian Kisaka, 
TMG KCC campus. Now there's a guy who's not here. One of us is not here. His name is Alex Kimin. I couldn't make it for this shoot, but we want to recognize him. Uh, he's from Kangudo Road campus. He's doing an amazing, amazing job. So Kimin, a shout out to you. I want us to uh, get into the weight of why we are here today. Deliverance Church of Moja. 40 years in the making. 40, 40 years. years is a long time. If you hear somebody say they are 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, it's a milestone. Yeah. I mean, it's not. We don't, also don't take it for granted for anything to get to 40, yeah. uh, and, and we thank God for that. Yeah. But in 1984, this church began, yeah. and and that must have been quite the journey. Uh, I think Sisi Niwale to Nazi Onatu Kwapicha, the movement, uh, the, the exodus, uh, all the way to the time the tent was pitched and the pictures that we see. That's quite a big milestone. But but the first 10 years of. Uh, DC Umoja in existence. That's the first time we had a significant youth ministry. A significant youth ministry came in, in the year 19? 94. 1994. That's the first time. Eh? 1994 is the first time we had a significant uh, youth ministry in this church and it's been quite the journey. It's been quite the journey. I don't let me throw this to Pastor Pam. Do you want to talk a bit about the leadership and how it's been yeah. uh, over the years, uh, especially towards the youth? Uh, yeah, ministry, I think yeah. I think uh, personally I'll talk about uh, more or less the pastoral team. Uh, Pastor Oscar really led this team well, worked there for almost 20 years, if I'm not wrong. And uh, uh, from Pastor Oscar, we see uh, Pastor Moses coming in together with Pastor uh, Jerry Makobila. And at that time, Pastor Moses and Jerry Makobila were actually uh, working, you know, concurrently because uh, Pastor Moses was in charge of the youth. They had the first lift because they didn't have services, but most of the time they used to do the first lift. And then uh, Pastor Jerry of uh, Makobila was in charge of the teens church. So after uh, Pastor Jerry, I came in. And for the last 13 years, uh, by the grace of God, I've been able to take care of this work. And uh, together I have a team, which is, of course, you people who yes. are here uh, that have really worked hard uh, for the last uh, few years uh, when I was not even able to, to do any ministry work. You stepped in, worked hard, and we can see the amazing job that you have all done. Uh, we have our Inaco campus led by uh, Brian Aseka. We have our KCC campus led by Brian Kisaka. We have our uh, Kerud campus that is led by Kimina. We have our Moja 3 campus led by David Maranga, that's me. And we have an upcoming one uh, that is our Mombasa Road campus. Hopefully we know that it will come up and our led by our well-abled uh, Edith Chebet. Yeah, but our campuses, we've been able just to spread our wings and just to impact the young people even further. We've gone to schools even further in our campuses. So I think campuses have been able just, we've been able not to be in Inako alone. We can see impact in the KCC estate, in the Omoja 3 estate, in, in around a big scope where we will, we will not be able just to uh, impact if you are only here in uh, in one one campus. So we are grateful for those campuses. Yeah. Uh, COVID yeah. really taught us a lot. COVID was a <laughs> big learning experience. COVID was that surprise that you didn't see coming and you definitely didn't want to have that surprise happen to you. But looking at how it affected the church and how it helped us as a TMG, there are both pros and cons. Like it allowed us and showed us that, hey, we can be scattered, but also united. Yeah, and I think even in looking at how it has been in the last two years, is it, it's been two years since yeah, now the campus is yeah. branched. Yeah, I mean, we can see growth from one campus to five campuses, from just 800 teenagers to now cutting to maybe 1,300, 1,500 across all our campuses. I want to uh, go to my namesake, Brian. What makes you very hopeful for the young guys in our community and in our churches? What, are, what, are, what is that thing that you feel very hopeful about? As a leader, we have that love for young people. Yeah. And we are focused to see them, you know, coming up and growing, even to love God more and more. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I know, mm. because as a leadership, we have a heart for young people. Mm. We will be able to raise them and transform them mm. to come to that level where mm. they can love God and give their life to God mm. and, you know, sacrifice fully mm. to serve God as a generation. 
Yeah. yeah, for sure. And mm. just have to speak a bit about the many things you do. Yeah. I know you might not okay. even be able to exhaust them all, but mm. uh, you want to speak a bit into that? Yeah, oh, for sure. I cannot exhaust them. But TMG has formed expressions in Nawi that where we have um, some that focus on our relationship with God. We have things like upper room. We have uh, things like our Bible study, our services. So things like upper room run every month. Then we have other events that um, focus on our relationship with each other as believers, as young people here in church. So we have things like Pure Deal, which focuses on um, purity and encouraging the young people. And uh, we have Pure Deal and Basics um, series, which encourages people to pursue purity, to pursue God. We have events that focus on us reaching the community that is around us. So we have things like school outreach, we have things like Washamta, where we have hundreds who've received Jesus yeah. over the time, yeah. and we really celebrate. So those are some of some, but we, we, we have so many. So, I mean, this is also an extension to any young person. You're welcome. Feel free to plug in. Feel free. We come love and serve God together. But then I just want to ask you this final question. Okay. What's a hope that you have, especially for TMG? What's a hope that you have? The hope that I have is uh, seeing where we've come from mm. 40 years mm. and the leadership we've had mm. since then. Mm. And they are still strong mm. and having that, uh, having brought us on board mm. and following on their footsteps mm. and they are still guiding us. Mm. We are hoping that, you know, this, this will be bigger mm. even in future. Yeah. I mean, growth is expectation uh, but looking back at the 40 years I think it's a realization that we are living in people in people's history mm -hmm. they've made history so my hope is that everyone that we get the privilege of guiding leading finds their space in being part of a greater history in the Silmoja and even just in serving God generally yeah that they'll be able to give of themselves and they'll be able to find a space to belong yeah my hope is that when the Bible says that there is a remnant, that that 40 years from now will go like there was this, there was Kisaka, there was Brian, there was a team in Umoja 3, there was a team that they, they served God. And as a result of that, because we are here as a result of people who did 40 years ago, uh, we are here because of, as, uh, uh, cause of, the, of the labor they did. Yeah? So, uh, that's the hope that I have, that we ha we, we, there is a remnant that will serve God and this generation will go forward and forward. Um, I think I, my hope is that the young people would pick that up and even from now, as young as they are, get to discover their giftings and influence their, the world in these different, the seven mountains, get to influence um, the world for Jesus. I think that would be such a great um, testimony. My hope would be like for every young person to know that Jeremiah 29 11 still runs in their lives, that God has the best plans for us and uh, a future, you know, that, has, that is hopeful at the end of the day. So wherever my, my hope then is that wherever God places them, they shall bear much fruit. Just as the word of God says, and fruit that remains, that we'll be able to have a feel of young people that wherever we go in the world, we'll have someone who says, I passed through these hands and I'm here standing for the glory of God. That at the end of the day, we'll have a transformation that will happen not only in Eastland, but the entire world. That lives will be transformed. People who can have a voice in every place that God plants them. That could be the government, you know, given wherever God plants them. The, in the church, in the ministries, whatever, in the marketplace, that they can have a voice and preach and even talk about Jesus. Yeah, that's my idea. Oh, come on, let's appreciate the media team and the TMG, they've done so well. Amen. Uh, if you're wondering if the person in the video is me, 
It is I. Yes, it is. My name is Brian Aseka. By the grace of God, I get to be part of the team here, um, leading the teens and young adults, especially for this campus. And I'm glad to be here. Are you glad to be here this morning? Come on, why don't you fist bump your neighbor and tell them, Rada. Now, wait for a response. How do you respond to Rada? Come on, Rada Safi. You're the old generation. Squeeze here to say, Mangi Rada Safi. Ni wachanue. Nito kwa mbia rada, nito kwa mbia nipeleke nayo. Sawa, sawa. Can we try that? Gota mtu mbia rada. Lafu wa kujibu. Eh, ndio hiyo sasa. Eh? Amen. Good to be here this morning. Um, as I said earlier, my name is Brian Aseka. And by the grace of God, I get to be part of the team here, leading the teens and young adults. As you saw in that video, that's pretty much the big team. We are out in five campuses, Mombasa Road, being led by, our, um, by one of our own, Edith Chebet, KCC by Brian, uh, Kangundo Road by Kimina. We have Umoja 3 by David Maranga. And personally, I'm here. And then part of the team is Joyce Kibi, and our leader is Pastor Pam. As you saw in that video, and we are glad to be here. Are you guys glad we are here? You stop it. So, guys, we... We are happy to be here. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you ready to hear the word of God? Yeah, come on, turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, that's where we'll be camping today for uh, a bit of our sermon. Uh, we'll be uh, just focusing on it. And the title of my sermon today is, There is More. Tell your neighbor, there is more. Uh, they didn't hear you. Tell them, there is more. In fact, tell them, there is more than you think. For those of you who love a, a sermon outline way ahead of time, my sermon outline is what? There is more. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. We'll not pick it from verse 1. We're going to pick it from verse 32. Now because we are a church that reads the Bible together, we, we, we shall read this together. Alright? Can we go? One, two, three, go. And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and David and Samuel and the prophets. Who through faith conquered what? Kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. They quenched the power of the fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, be became mighty in war, put foreign armies to, fight, to flight. Women received back at their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release so that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sewn into, they were killed with the sword. They went about in, sheep, uh, in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, mistreated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering about in deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. Now verse 39 is where we are going to camp a bit. Uh, verse 39, for those of you who love soap operas, this is when you think Alejandro will marry. Uh, uh, what uh, Mar Mara Clara, and then uh, Alejandro ends up marrying uh, Sylvia. Uh, this is this is like if you're going to summarize this scripture, it goes like this: it says, and all these, though commended for their faith, what does the Bible say? They did not receive what was. Now you see that's a, that's that scripture is a bit uh, of an anticlimax. We hope to see that because they they travel because of their faith. They ought to have received what? Their promise. But the Bible says, even though they went through all that, they did not receive what? The promise. But then it gives us an answer in the next verse. This is what the next verse says. The Bible says, because God had a better plan. And it says this in verse 40, since God provided something better for who? For us. That apart from us, they should not be made perfect. That God thought it would be best. That all these people are, uh, you see Hebrews 11 goes through the fathers of faith. It goes through uh, the hall of faith. It, it, Hebrews 11 is like your high school billboard with all the top students, the A students, the head boys and the head girls. And then it, it's like the hall of faith. It's like this is where the people who did it big. That's where they were posted. And then finally the Bible tells us that God, even though these people went through all that, the Bible says God waited. As, uh, it's like he kept them and kept us together. What was the promise that they wanted to see? They were hoping for that day Christ would come. And, 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 and death, hell, and the grave, all this would be defeated. 
But then, but then for us who are living right now, some of them are looking forward to live a life that we're living right now. That's Hebrews 11. Friends, how does this tie to what we're doing today here as TMG? We're trying to, we're trying to bring this to, we're, we're trying to remember and bring us to, to a place where we appreciate that there are people who will go ahead of you, but they will not receive the reward of their promise. Let me give you an example. There are some things that we call fixed realities in the universe. Fixed realities, these are things that don't change no matter what. They are fixed. For example, if you jump up, what will happen? You'll come down. That's gravity. Gravity is a fixed reality. Speed and force is also a fixed reality. If you drive your car at 200 kilometers per hour and you hit a bump or a pothole, your car will roll even though you are listening to Hope FM. Why? Because it's a fixed reality. It does not change. There are some fixed realities in the Bible as we see it. As the Bible presents, you will notice there are some things. For example, Genesis 8 from verse 22 says, as long as the earth is there, there shall always be day and night. There shall always be uh, seasons, all right? There shall be summer, there shall be winter. That's a fixed reality. That's something that keeps on coming. Today, there's a fixed reality I want, to, I want to bring us our attention to. This fixed reality is threaded through the whole Bible, and it's also threaded through your life and even our lives, and it is this. In this life, there will always be people who pay. There will always be people who pay. There will always be the people who will chart the course. There will always be the people who will step out. There will always be people who will do their best to try new territories. There will always be people who will go for war so that other people will enjoy the benefits of peace. That's a fixed reality. It's true for you parents. It's true for even uh, for, for some of you who have uh, nephews and nieces. You will realize some of the things that you do for your children, some of them don't even understand and they may never even know the magnitude of how that looks like. But then that's not the only fixed reality. There's another fixed reality. This is the other fixed reality. There will always be people who enjoy. There will always be people who enjoy. Ushai, you know, when I was in high school, I was trying to talk myself out of this story. So me, I grew up in Umoja. Here in Nairobi, in Umoja here, uh, Umoja 2. Uh, in fact, Kitambo, ungeona tu mtoto wata natembea meparara? Ni mimi. That, that was me. I would, I, I'd be loitering around. I'd be everywhere. So, you can understand my shock when I go to high school, I went to high school, uh, actually, uh, uh, first of all, I went to boarding school in class 6, uh, Upper Westy. You know Westy? Western Kenya. So I went to Westy for boarding school. And then I went to high school still in Westy. Now I went to the school called Butere Boys High School. Now, if you don't know Butere Boys High School, you know Butere Girls High School. Just, just change the girls and put boys. So I step into Butere Boys High School and I notice some things that mesmerize people there don't mesmerize me. For example, those people love avocados. I, I ended up loving avocados, but I used to wonder why. Why is, is avocado a fruit or a vegetable? But that's beside the point. The other thing I noticed this school loved was the bus. It was, in fact, when you're talking about the bus in school, you have to lower your tone. Talk with respect. Our bus even had a name. Our bus was called Exodus. In fact, you don't, you don't refer it to as the school bus. You refer it to as Exodus. Munenda trip, munenda na? Exodus. Like, it was, and I used to wonder, like, the students would, uh, you know, in school, movement is by running. But when you get to the parking lot for Exodus, what do you do? You walk slowly. Once you're done, you can continue running. In fact, it was it was so much so that by the time we used to go for uh, trips like funkies, people would go for funky, but when they come back, what they are talking about is not what happened where they were. It was what happened in the bus. Now, it was not only the students who were mesmerized by the bus, it was also the teachers. 
In fact, the teachers, would, you would also notice, every chemistry lesson would at some point, uh, if it's forming a brown pre precipitate, uh, our school bus was brown, it says it forms a precipitate like Exodus. Like it used to find its way in everything because it was a pride for that school. Even our principal, he used to call us for parade close to the bus. Now, guys, me coming from Nairobi, I'm like, guys, it's just a bus. In fact, I, I know bus drivers by name. But then I realized something. The reason why, in fact, even parents were mesmerized. They would come for visiting day, touch the bus. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's going on? Until I realized that bus had been as a result of the contribution of so many people. They came in Form 1, Changiad in Form 2, Form 3. They got to Form 4, and they left Form 4 without seeing the bus. Two months later, I was joining the club. I was saying, the bus. Why? Because when I received my, uh, my payment, uh, what is called my school fee structure, the bus was not fully paid for. It had a loan. So on my school fee structure, there was a, an amount for the bus. Forgive me. I joined them. And every day I was like, this is the, the bus. In fact, we had a song for our bus. I will not sing it right now, but let me tell you, I remember all the lyrics because I paid for it. There's a student right now in Butere Boys High School who will never have to pay for that bus. But there are people who paid dearly for that bus. And that's a fixed reality. There will always be people who pay and there will always be people who enjoy. Because if you read Hebrews 11, you will notice the Bible tells us that great men of faith Many people in the Bible, they, they actually did a lot for our faith. The Bible says even some of them, they were flogged. It says some of them, they were killed, thrown in dens of lions. They were sacrificed. But let me tell you, the Bible says they did not see the promise. Do you know who's seeing the promise? We are. We are seated literally right in the middle of our promise. Even as we celebrate 40 years, it is also very good for us to know as this year you, where we are seated today, someone paid for where we are today. You see the seat you are sitting on, someone paid for it. You see we have a big tent here. It's a thousand seater tent. Last Sunday was 1,276 people came for service. They all sat on a seat someone bought. We watched a screen someone paid for. Let me tell you guys, we are privileged we are all privileged. In fact, just bump one of your neighbors and tell them, neighbor, you are very privileged. You imagine how it looked like uh, in 1984 when someone came to this bare land. It was bare. In fact, it was so open. By the way, um, after a while here, there will be a very big building with so many people gathering for three services. Atakwambizo ni stories, huh? Jaba. For them, some of those things were just a far-fetched thought. But for us who are here today, we are enjoying the fruits of the labor. Come on, if you believe it, why don't you appreciate God for some of those sacrifices? So because we are privileged people, what do privileged people do? What should privileged people do? As a privileged human being sitting here today, what should we do? Now, some of us, we've dealt with people who are entitled Especially when, uh, have you ever, uh, okay, I don't know if this example appears, uh, applies to everyone, who may sacrifice all you can to buy your son or daughter a phone. I love, see your iPhone, Miss Taki. It's a phone. CC and Zizetu, that's where Nzizetu comes in. CC and Zizetu to me a smoke signal. In fact, we used to send a runner to the neighbors. Like, you would be like, you have no idea how much sacrifice was put in for you to get in. Now, today as TMG, we just want to say thank you for everyone who's, who's, who's given towards us. Thank you for every camp that you've paid for. Thank you for every, uh, every offering that you've given that has enabled us to run our programs. Thank you even for bringing your children. Thank you for bringing your teens. You know why? Because if we are going to move forward, it's also very good for us to look back and even appreciate. I have three things to say and then get out of your way. Is that okay? Number one, what do our privileged people do? 
what should people who understand their privilege, what should they do? Number one, they should be grateful for the past. Should be grateful for the past. Many years. You, do you know how many, how many times people have come in this building praying for cashers all night without doors? People were praying. People, people gave of their resources. In fact, some of those people are not part of our church anymore. Some of them are not even here. Some of them are, are even uh, have since gone to be with the Lord. But as we are seated here, we are enjoying the labors of people who've done, who've gone before us. What do we do? What do our privileged people do? Our privileged people understand and they know that it's the labors of other people. So number one, a grateful, uh, a privileged people are grateful for the past. Being grateful for the past does not mean now you feel indented to what they did, but being grateful for the past means that every time you come into the house of God, you appreciate that somebody paid that price. Somebody paid that price for you to be there. Are you hearing me today? Come on, can I hear you say an amen? Amen. amen. We are grateful for the past. The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 4 from verse 36. This is the story when Jesus meets the Samaritan woman. He'd send his disciples to get him some food. And then when they come back, they find that Jesus is looking like somebody who's eaten. And then Jesus is, and then they're like, uh, but we went to get you food. And then Jesus tells them, my food is uh, doing my father's will. But then he grabs this statement that is very relevant to us today. He says in verse 36 of John 4, even now the one who reaps, draws a wage and, the, and harvests a crop for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may be glad, how? Together. And then it continues to say, that's the saying, one sows, another one reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you've not worked for. Others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their what? Their labor. It's good for us to look at the past and be grateful for all those people who came before us. Some of them are our grandparents. Now, you know, African, we, in Africa, we, uh, when, when it's time to become religious, we can be really religious. You know, those parents, when mtoto wa melala tu usikuwa na mwagia elianto, this child, their destiny is locked. You're praying for them a day and night. And then one day this son will, will grow up and they'll be like, wow, I have lived a life free of oppression because my mom prayed for me. It's good for us to have a perspective and be grateful for the past. But not just be grateful for the past. The second thing is to have a perspective for now. A perspective for now. What's a perspective for now? A perspective for now is looking at the times we're living in and actually putting them well and, and saying, this is a relevant view. This is, a, a, what say? this is an accurate view of where I am right now. A perspective for now. How do you honor somebody who's given you a gift? How do you honor somebody who has come through for you? How do you honor somebody who has sacrificed for you? Number one, you enjoy the gift that you've been given. I was telling uh, the, the team in the first service, if, if, has somebody ever given you a gift and the box, the gift is, in, the box is so good that you can't even open it, just take selfies with it. It's the gift. It's the box. How do you take up on Shoeless, but it's it's the it's it's the gift. When when you get a gift, a good perspective to have for now. When you get a gift, is enjoy the gift, enjoy it, enjoy it to the fullest. But not just enjoy the gift. Also realize you have a role to play. You have a role to play. We all have a role to play. You see Hebrews chapter 12, the next verse after that one says this, uh, Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sins that clings to us closely, and let us run with endurance the rest that has been set before us. And then verse 2 says this, looking to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, despising shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. My friends, because we are here today, we have no excuse for not going after the things of God. Because people 40 years have been putting in and have been sowing in, it's good for us to go after the things of God with everything that we can. The Bible says, lay aside every weight, lay aside even every sin and everything that seems to pull you back. Let us run towards what God has called us to because people have sold, people have enabled us to be here today. Let us run for it. And then finally, let me finish with this. 
It's not just enough for us to be grateful for the past, to have a perspective for now. It is also enough for us to know that there's a future that is depending on us. There is a future that is depending on us. Just the same way we are reaping fruits for somebody in the past, there is a future that is waiting for us. There is a generation in the future that is waiting for you, that is waiting on, on your obedience. We could sit here and go like, I go to church to check off my, uh, I go to church to check off my, uh, my due diligence or say I went to church or maybe I go to church so that I can uh, meet with my friends or I go to church for my weekly nap. Anything that maybe you come for church, I would, I would ask you as you look forward into, as, 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 as we think about the 40th anniversary, it is good for us to know that there's a generation that is depending on us. There's a generation that is depending on us. Some of these young people that you see here, some of us, we, and, and I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm buying into this school of short, uh, thought, sorry. Uh, they're not the next generation. They're the now generation. They're not the generation that is coming. They are here. The generation that is coming are not yet born. In fact, I'm a millennial and I am a minority. I have joined the minority group. 54% of Kenya is under the age of 24. Sisi what I said? Join the same WhatsApp group. Tumemaliswa. Because the thing is this, as the generations come up, it's, it, it, the, the, uh, it, it is placed upon us the demand for us to do well. Let me finish with this. As we look at these statistics, did you, not, did you know that in Embakasi, and Bakasi was in 2019, it was labeled as the, large, the most populous sub-county in Nairobi. There's 988,000 people living in Embakasi. Our church, when it's packed to the brim, we hit maybe, let's say, 10,000. If you remove 10,000 from 988, guys, there's a whole big harvest to be gotten. Uh, uh, Nairobi in itself has a population of 4.3 million people by the time our 2019 census was being done as we speak right now the number is estimated to be 5.4 the harvest is plentiful as we reap the, the labor of other, as we reap the harvest for what others labored there is a task for us to do ahead my challenge to us today would be this what are you doing to invest in the generation that is coming what are you doing to invest in the future generation? What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing to continually be part of what God is doing in the coming generation? Because my friends, my brothers and sisters, the Bible is not just asking us. It is, it, it is, it is compelling us. It is urging us that we have to be grateful for the past, to have a perspective for now, but also to realize that there's a generation that is depending on us. Amen? Um, let's be up on our feet as we finish this. Every time we have TMG week or every time we have a service like this when we're having young people, a lot of times it's usually, let's go bash on the parents or let's go bash on the older guys. But today it's asking you, could we join together? Could we come together? As we look at the past, could we have hope that yes, people did it back then. And right now we have, we have yes, we enjoy, but we also look at the future and say there's a generation that is coming. There's a generation that is coming that desperately needs us to engage. I want to pray for us. And even as I pray for us, I want to pray and ask that we all join in the work of God. That we all join in the things God is doing. That we all join in the vineyard. That somebody 40 years from now will be like, yes, I am enjoying and I'm reaping fruits because of some, someone who labored. And maybe I don't even know their name. Pray for your children. Pray for your teenagers. Pray for them. Look for them. Mentor them. We have more than 10 hospitals and one level 5 hospital in our community. There is desperate need for us to engage. There is a generation that is waiting for us. There is a whole generation waiting for us. So Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you because of your word that reminds us that in life there will always be seed time and harvest time. And there will always be people who will sow and others will reap. Lord, today we choose not just to reap what others sowed, but we also choose to sow so that others will reap in the future. 
Father, we pray for our children. We pray for our teenagers. We pray for everyone who's coming up, oh Lord. Father, help us to set everything and even the temperatures and everything that is needed for them to be able, my God, to go after you and go after the things of God. Father, help us not to sit and be aloof from the things of God, but Lord, help us to go after you and after everything that you're doing. Lord, we bless you and we thank you. And even in this moment before I sit down, I want just to make this call. Maybe you came in today and, 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 and even as you're seated here, you feel God riling up that you've not given your life to Christ. You're not born again. You've not uh, gotten to a place where you've made that decision to actually follow God. Come join us. Be part of this team. Be part of what God is doing. Be part of what God is doing in our community. As you heard the young guys say that we have a, a young adult service coming up. Come plug in. The teens are meeting every Sunday. Come plug in. The doulos are meeting at Kangun Road. Come plug in. We have Washamta. We have all these things. Come. Run, run alongside us. Let us invest in the generations that are coming. But then before that, I just want to make this call for anyone who's not given their lives to Christ. We want to pray together with you. We want to pray for you. You came in this morning and you feel like, I, I, I really need to have an encounter with this God. I really need to have an encounter with a God who can change things. I really need to have an encounter with Jesus. I want to pray for you. Where are you? Maybe you, at some, you, are, you, had the thing, you were after about the things of God, but at some point you backslid. We want to pray with you. Where are you? We just want to pray with you. Just put up your hand. Somebody will find you. We want to pray together with you. Come on, bump your neighbor and just ask your neighbor, neighbor, brother, are you born again? You have to wait for an answer. Are they born again? Are they born again? Come on, if they are born again, why don't we give, a, we give glory to God and give him a praise. Amen. Let's give it up for Brian and the TMG. Um, amen. Uh, before we sit, I would like us to make one short prayer. But before that, we, our bishop is in by Reverend Oscar, Pastor Richard, and several others, and our Takia Mazuri. Let's give them a big hand where they are right now. Just be able to raise your hand up and make a prayer for the nation. We, we are in a mourning. We mourn because of the passing away of uh, the chief of defense and the others who passed on, and you are aware that it was announced that this is our mourning period. Can we go ahead and pray? And for the people who are bereaved, uh, raise your hands, raise your hand for the nation and, and pray. For the people who are bereaved, their families, and generally for those who are bereaved even in our church and others, go ahead and pray. Father, we remember as a nation we are mourning the passing away of the chief of defense forces, and we are praying, Lord, that the family, even as they do the burial, continue to uphold and help and comfort the family. We also pray for those who are bereaved, part of the people who passed on, uh, several of them, their families also, we lift them up to you, we pray for comfort and every single other person who has been bereaved in this nation. We lift up our nation and pray for blessing, protect us from any accidents and any incidents. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear amen? Amen. Once more, let's appreciate the TMG team. They have done us very well. I appreciate you so much. Amen. Let's go ahead and have our seats. Um, the ushers in the house and the leaders in the house kindly help us. We want to give. And if you are giving online, we have our chill number. Uh, the media team, please give us a tithes and offering. And also the BDQ machine is behind there. So go ahead and give.
Mulțumesc, aprijete, ban. Amen. Vrei să ne ofici? Want to pray for our giving. Raise your hands towards the giving. Father, we thank you that we have come to your house and we have given. And people in the house and also online, we pray, Lord, we thank you. And we pray for provision, even at the place of work, at the place of business. And we pray for more open doors, for increase. And so we receive this gift in Jesus' name. Can I hear amen? Amen. Let's appreciate.